Hi, I'm Hannah from the page um, The Moments on Facebook and I want to do this video to help everyone who isn't using CookieDo and just to let you know CookieDo is free. You can do menu plans and instant shopping lists with exactly um, the cookbooks you currently have. So if you've just got the basic cookbook, you can do it with that. If you've got a couple of chips, you can do it with that. Um, the only thing that costs is the $49 per year subscription if you want to have every single cookbook unlocked for you. It's a great deal because chips are usually about $50 just for one and you'll get two to three new ones per year as well as a monthly um, recipe collection thing. So uh, I want to show you just how to do a shopping list and menu plan and um, also show you how to change countries when you want to look at all the um, overseas cookbook chips because you've unlocked access to all of those as well if you have a subscription. If not, just disregard that part and just meal plan with your basic cookbook because you're missing out. It's really quick and easy and um, there's billions of great recipes um, because they're all official Thermomix triple tested ones. So the recipe community is um, all uploaded by customers and owners and a few consultants and those could be um, you know, not quite to specification or safety standards. So this way you know you're getting recipes that are made in the actual test kitchens of Thermomix around the world. So um, they're the best of the best. So I'm going to share my screen and show you where we're at. So here we go. Um, this is the home page for CookieDo, so cookiedo.com.au. I actually like to look at this page before I um, start my shopping because they have a lot of good things um, and suggestions here. So they've got weekly menu suggestions and this changes all the time. So you can have a look and see um, if anything you know, catches your eye. Then you can scroll down and see what's new. So these are called um, collections and they're about 10 to 12 recipes each. This one's got 12. That's from um, last year's calendar. And these are the new um, collections that, um, yeah, every month a new one's released. So um, it's always worth checking out what's in there. That's all for free too. If you um, don't have a subscription, you can purchase them for $5 each. Then down here you'll find staff picks and top favourites. So if you want to know what everyone's cooking, these are a real hit for everybody. So I can vouch for that. That's one of our demo dishes. It's fantastic. Um, and here are some other ones. That's also amazing. You can see how favourite is that one. Um, it's from the 500 calorie collection. It's very simple, in fact, too simple. Um, but I have it quite regularly. It's really tasty for what it is. And I think that's all. Oh no, here yeah, also best selling collection. So if you're not interested in the $49 per year membership that unlocks everything, you can um, you can just purchase one or two of these um, which have great recipes in them for $5 each. So you can click on them and see what's inside too before you buy. So let's let that load. So there's 10 recipes you can see here. And you can check them out. And go, yep, I'd use that and you could purchase it. Um, so you can look at all this without the subscription. You can check it all out, make sure you know what's in it before you buy it. Uh, and then just um, add it to your menu if you want to. Otherwise, if you've got the um, cookie, you'll have them all ready. So now to do your menu plan. Um, very, very easy. Um, I usually go to you can browse all recipes, all collections. Now, if you haven't got um, a subscription, go to my collections and you'll see what you've got. So you'll find that you'll have the basic cookbook, um, a little welcome collection that you get for free when you sign up. So some top favourite recipes in one of these little collection formats. And maybe you've got another couple of chips. So if you've got the Christmas chip, you'll have that one. Every day cooking for families is one most people have. And then you can meal plan just with those. So if you haven't got a subscription, click on My Recipe Library, go to My Recipes, and then start menu planning from there. If you have the cook key, go to Browse, All Recipes. Actually, you can go to My Recipe Library as well and go All Recipes because um, you've got them all. So here's everything from A to Z, a lot to um, sort through. So go over here and click click on a category to change that to something that's simpler. So you can change it to just pasta. I've got a few pasta dishes in mind for the family. You can look here and now it's just going to be pasta coming up. So this is as every collection within Australia. So we can do this again in um, the UK and America. I can show you shortly. So you can go through and then when you find something you like, that's good, I can recommend this one. You click and drag and put it down into 
your menu plan for the week. Then um, that will add to your shopping list automatically. So you can look through and go, yep, I need another one. We'll go with this one. I've also made this. It's pretty good. Great. Once you've done that, you can change it to a different category. And note you can also sort by other things like um, recipe name, total time. So you can put down all the quick ones, portion sizes. You can change it to just show things that feed more than six people. Active time, how long it will take you to make it. Um, and total time is including cooking time. And also tags. This is a very good one. It's a new one. I think Australia is the only country with it so far. You can now click, you want to see just the dairy free ones. If I click on that, it should be interesting. All right, so these are the dairy free ones. There's not a whole heap, but you know, if you're dairy free, you should know about how substituting is so easy. I make a lot of those creamy ones just with coconut cream instead of um, normal cream. So just because that's not dairy free doesn't mean you can't make it. I know that for a fact that's got butter in the topping, you would just use done legs. So doesn't mean you can't have all of these options. Great, so you can look at meal plan like that. I actually find myself meal planning more with um, all collections rather than all recipes. So if you go to all collections, so I've got 66 collections every month that goes up. I don't pay for any of them because I've got a subscription. Um, and these are all uh, the themes. So I kind of know what I want, you know, if I'm looking for I'm looking for a cake this week, so I'm going there. But if you want dessert, that's helpful. Um, if you want a cocktail or two, these are the full cookbooks. You get all those as well, the ones which have tips. So there's hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars worth of um, cookbooks in here. So um, Often I'll just pick a, a one that I haven't looked at before because there's so many to cook from. It's just tons. The recipe community has less recipes than what Cookie Goo does. So here we go. Um, this is a popular one with our family. We love this one. We love this one. We love this one. And this week I've got this on the menu. So I usually look and go, well, I've tried a few. We haven't tried this one yet. So we'll grab that one. We've got two stews there, that's all right. <laughs> it's just a trial. And then when you've done that, it'll add to your shopping list. Go back and pick a new collection. Sorry, just try and navigate here. So zucchinis, um, I think zucchinis in season because I've been given a few lately. So if you've got some zucchinis to use up, or well, they're very cheap, you know that's going to be a budget-friendly recipe for the week. Check it all out. I think this one looks the best. Grab him, pop him down. So you just do that a few times, and the trick is to just pick something. You can't just expect the good ones to pop out. And yes, there's some good Facebook pages telling you what some recommendations could be and you might find some good ideas there. But reality is it comes down to you. So if you find you're not using your cookie, it's because you're not on here making a menu plan with it. You have to use it to use it. So um, just keep looking. There's so much here. You'll um, even just, you know, there's great recipes in that gluten-free um, cookbook casseroles and bakes, that's a new um, kids party one there, Box ideas, Moroccan street food, don't just think oh there'll be nothing there I'll like, click on it, have a look, you might find something. Um, the trick is to pick something new all the time, so don't um, just keep going back to the same collections all the time, don't keep um, picking the same meals, quick and easy dinners, there'll be something in there you'd like. You know, it's just one recipe per collection. You've got so much here, there's no way you're going to run out of recipes. Great, so once you're pretty sure you've um, got what you want from Australia, and click on Help up here, change it to another country. So, go to the UK. 
then click on the Thermomix logo over here. If you're on your phone, you can actually save, once you're in the UK um, website, you can save yourself a shortcut to your um, phone's home screen so that every time you want to access that country's cookie do, you don't have to sign in each time or go through all this help business. You just click on your shortcut you've made, especially for that. Um, yeah. Sometimes it comes up with the sign in information and it's got your details in there already, so just click on um, sign in. Great, so before you proceed, I, like I said, I always check the home page first. What's new? Let's have a look. Dinner party suggestions, chocolate orange tart, that looks alright. Chocolate truffles, simple supper, sounds good too. New recipe collection, so we've got some Christmas ones from last month, Christmas Day. Their calendar recipe, so I, I wouldn't have seen that, so that could be good to check out. Low fat, that should be popular. Editor's Choice, and then Top Favourites. So cheese scones, hubby will be very happy. Um, oh, that's this week's menu plan. You can see popping up there. I've already popped that on to our um, menu plan for this week. Ah, click on the recipe. That's all right. So do that as well. If you want to check out the recipe before you add it to your menu, you can view the whole recipe if you're in the collection. Check you have everything. Looks pretty easy. Need 20 seconds. You're done. Can't get easier than bread making with a the thermomix. You really can't. All right, have a quick look around before we get into the main website. Okay, top favourites. Yep, yeah, so you can see those. And then bestsellers. So these are their real popular um, collections. So you get everything in Australia when you've got a cook key, you get everything in America, everything in all those countries you saw before. When in Rome, that looks pretty good. Great. And don't forget, even if you haven't got a cook key subscription, you can go into other countries and look at everything yourself. And you've got a free 30-day trial too. So if you're ready, and I would recommend making sure you're ready for a month to be using this, you know, to its potential, unlock your free trial, which um, probably in here, Cookie Doo membership. Click on that, and it will say 30-day um, free trial. If you haven't used it already, use it when you know you're going to get some good out of it because you'll have access to nearly 30,000 recipes. All right, so um, browse all collections. Let's see what they've got. So different ones to Australia. Some you'll find are the same, but not many. American classic sounds good. These are all new collections, not cookbooks. So if you want a cookbook, I think you can choose that too. So browse all collections, you can browse chip collections. Let's check this out. Hmm. Oh. Not how I was expecting to see it. They've got a sweet baking one. Cakes, bakes and tea time treats. So we don't have that in Australia, so if that looks good to you, that'll probably have about 80 recipes in it. And you'll get that with your 30-day um, free trial or with your um, cookie do membership. Here we go. 80 recipes. Adrian fondant, buttercream. Pastries, ooh, Chelsea buns. That looks all right. This is great. So, um, just doing a video, sorry. Now. Um, when we go to um, the browse, you can also do the all recipes, just click on the theme as well. So, when I say theme, I mean category, like pasta. If you don't want to go through individual collections, you know, you just want a few meat dishes, go over here and pick some things from the categories. Sorry, it's a tad on the slow side. Let's 
So here we go, these are all the meat dishes. That's great, because you might not be able to find these very easily by sifting through collections. Ooh, beef burger with melting cheese centre. So there's so much here, and they're going to be all easy. Great. So yeah, pick what you want to try, and believe me, just pick something. This is good, I made this one. Just pick it and go, yeah, that looks simple enough for a midweek meal. Drop it down onto um, it over here. Great. So that's how you meal plan. Um, now we can get our shopping list. So it doesn't take too long. Just pick new things each time is my recommendation. Um, so if you click on, you can click down here or you can click on organise at the top. Yeah. So my computer's just decided to rearrange itself. Go over here, weekly planner. You go straight to shopping list if you want, but if you wanted to check out this first, um, this is our menu for the week. Now, I don't actually want this one on. That was just an example. So just take it off. You just lift it up and let it go. And I'll take this off as well because I already have enough meals for the week here. And if you want to change the date, click down here and then change to select different dates that you want to do. Or the next seven days, you have the option there. That's it. Go view shopping list. And this will be what I need to buy. It fix itself up. <laughs> Got some old things coming up there. There we go. So I go straight. You can look for them by. Um, just going to move my little thumbnail here. You can look at it by a recipe or the easiest way is to go straight to ingredient groups and get rid of the things you don't need. So I um, won't need water. That's there you know, for soups and things. I don't use the red wine in recipes or red white wine, sorry. Um, just put a bit of water in instead. Lemon juice I've got, boiling water. Yeah, don't need any of those things. Great. Don't need bread flour, I've got that. Don't need quinoa, don't need plain flour. Um, do need, don't need bee sand, don't need couscous. So go through and take away what you don't need. So don't need the cheese, cream cheese, sour cream, cotta. I won't, uh, you can make your own cotta with just milk and a splash of vinegar, so I'll do that. Salted butter. Great, so go through, and then when you go to the supermarket, um, just take your phone and log into Cookie Do on your phone, and you will see um, this when you go in. It's all live, so it'll be straight onto your phone. Go to organize and shopping list, and just view it like that. You can even tick it off as you put it in your trolley, like this. Um, or um, you can email it to yourself. So go up here and click email shopping list. So it's just going to be that easy. When you get to the um, dairy section. You're going to go grab the parmesan, the butter, the milk, the cream, the cream cheese and sour cream and move on. No looking there, no thinking, oh, what do I need? I might make this, I might make that. You know what you're making. That's the meat you have to buy. Go through, go for everything you need. How easy is that? You really can't go wrong. Um, it's not complicated. I hope I didn't complicate it for you, but I want to show you a few things. Um, yeah, and look, if you just want to stick in the Australian website, that's fine. Like there's so many countries um, that you don't, even need to access. Um, so at the moment I've been using USA, UK and Australia because that's um, all in English. If you're using Google Chrome, which I am, um, if you only click on the French one, it'll automatically translate into um, English as well. And that's it. So there we go. Meal plans done. No hassle. Just pick a few new things. You just have to do it. Pick a few new things each week. Even if you um, have some normal nights, so you can click here and write a note like um, your regular favourite tacos for that night. That's fine. Um, you've got tacos in there. You don't have to have a thermix meal every night, but it, it's handy to pick a few new ones. Or you're right, you're not going to use your cookie because you're not using it. So get on there, pick a few new ones and see what happens. And don't forget that if you're looking at it and go, well, my kids don't like mushrooms, just leave them out, put in something else. You don't have to keep it exactly as the recipe says. So hopefully that helped you. Let me know.